Big news just dropped and more Nintendo movies are on the horizon and while of course details are scarce I had to dive into this announcement. My name's Alex so this is Switch Corner and if you do enjoy the video hitting that subscribe button would mean a lot and it supports the channel immensely. So let's jump right into the heart of this announcement. A Zelda movie is officially on its way, confirmed by a tweet from none other than Miyamoto himself and further echoed by Nintendo of America. Now let's unpack the positives. That's of course a massive one. It's coming from Miyamoto himself. But here Nintendo is not just involved, they are invested, co-financing the project with Sony Pictures Entertainment and contributing over 50% of the funding. Now as of now, the cast of course remains a mystery. However, the production side is shaping up with Avi Arad on board as producer and Wes Ball secured as the director. This, however, is kind of where my excitement wavers slightly. Avi Arad's track record is, to put it mildly, inconsistent. Sure, we've seen brilliance from them with Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and its sequel, but we've also endured the likes of Uncharted and Morbius and Ghost in the Shell. As producer, Arad's influence on production staff, final cuts, even script choice, could be hugely significant. My hope, they kind of let Nintendo take the reins where it counts, and my feeling here is that's exactly why they contributed over 50%, just to kind of have, I guess, that controlling stake in the production. Wes Baller then is going to be hit and miss as well for me. He directed the Maze Runner trilogy, which is far from the worst thing I've ever seen. I actually quite enjoyed the first entry as well. It's a almost team version of something like a Battle Royale. They're all working these teams to escape, well, you guessed it, a maze. But I wouldn't necessarily call him proven at this stage in the director's chair. Now his next upcoming movie is going to be Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. So that's definitely big budget and admittedly the trailer just dropped. It looks like a potential banger but yeah it seems the studio sees something in his work and I hope that confidence here isn't misplaced. One of the biggest questions for me looming over this project though is how they're going to approach the character of Link who traditionally is a silent protagonist. Will they maintain this and let the supporting cast drive the narrative or will they venture to give voice to one of Nintendo's most iconic heroes? I imagine that's very much going to be the case but it will be a delicate task and casting here of course it's going to be crucial. This said on casting, I did stumble upon a Variety article that dropped today with some interesting casting suggestions. One I really like the idea of is Thomas Brody Sangster, known for his collaboration with Wes Ball on The Maze Runner, as well as his turn in Love Actually. Now I've linked that article down below for those that are interested, but me personally, I'd actually advocate for an unknown actor to bring Link to life and then surround them with A-list talent for balance. This film coming from Nintendo and Sony, it's absolutely going to need that A kind of list tier cast carrying it. But hopefully it turns out a little bit better than the response we initially saw with the Super Mario movie. That's about all of the details we have at the moment. This film has been a long time coming in my opinion. I'm definitely filled with hope that Nintendo will treat their IP with the respect it deserves. And also with their significant involvement, I'm definitely confident. Yet I can't help but be, I guess, excited or just at least anticipate the unfailing of their decisions from casting to that final production crew. So now over to you. Who do you think should be cast in these roles? What other IPs to serve these cinematic treatments? And will Wes Ball and Arid Productions the right choice for such a pivotal piece of Nintendo history? Definitely a quick update today. And with that, don't forget to subscribe and join us here for daily reviews, deals, news, and lists. Thanks, everyone.